<laughs> Hi everyone, this is Tony from Sack Studios. Thanks for joining me for another tutorial. Um, this one is going to be for our musicians, artists who need something more stylized, looks cool for banners, flyers, what have you. Um, it uh, is very similar to what you would see in the hospital as a heart monitor, the, the readings that jump up and down that show the electrical pulses of the heart. So we're going to jump right in and I'm going to show you how to make a really cool effect using that. So we're going to go ahead and make a new document. And in this case, let's go 700 by 700. All right, now your resolution, if it's just going to be something you post to the web, can be at 72. If you plan to print it, I would recommend to go with at least 300. In this case, it's just going to go to the web, so 72 DPI is fine. So we're going to go ahead, and now we have our background layer. We're going to go ahead over here to our color palette, and we're just going to make sure we have black selected. And let's grab our paint bucket tool and we're just going to go ahead and fill that in with black alright next we're going to go ahead over here to our background layer and double click go ahead and unlock it All right. now let's go ahead and double click again and it's going to bring up our layer style and our blending options so first of all let's choose gradient overlay alright and then we're going to click on gradient overlay and so we're going to have some options here so go ahead and click on this box for the gradient and you're going to have this new gradient editor come up um, so we're going to go ahead and start on the left side and go ahead and double click that and the color we're going to go ahead and use let's go with uh, 660081 a nice purple color go ahead and copy that and say OK and let's go over here to this side to the white double click on it and let's paste that in because we're going to use that too alright all right. so now let's go to the middle and right click get us a new one made and for that we're just going to use all black so zero 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 OK and we can make adjustments you know how however you want this to be if you want a little more black in the middle it's fine okay choose okay alright all the other options we're gonna just leave the way they are um, not gonna make any changes there for that so let's go ahead and choose okay alright so now we've got a nice looking you know gradient that goes from a nice purple to black kind of have when it says all over this will kind of have kind of a techno feel and that's kind of popular right now so you see a lot of that so now let's go ahead and just create a new layer all right and then let's hit control shift e and merge them and the reason we're doing that is because we want the layer styles to go away but we want to keep them but we don't want to apply them to anything else so now we have a, a brand new layer now we're going to actually go up to filter we're going to go down to brush strokes okay and then we're going to go down to sprayed strokes alright now the settings you want over here and you can play with this um, depending on the size of your document uh, for the stroke length we want 18 we want spray radius to be roughly 23 and the stroke direction we want to be vertical now these are the best settings for the project I'm working on you may want to change it later okay let's go ahead and choose OK and now as you see we have kind of a stroke effect that it's kind of a blending of the two so let's go ahead and grab our text tool and for this particular one I've chosen um, Transuranium as the font because it kind of looks it kind of looks cool. So we're just going to go ahead and say beat. Let's try beat. All right, and let's.
let's go ahead and make it white. Okay. And let's size it how we like it. So either Control T or you can click up there. Now hold your Shift button and just uh, make it big, make it the size you want. I like to kind of put it right in the middle. And uh, like I said, you can go crazy with this, do whatever you want, however you want to design it. I'm doing it this way on purpose so I can kind of show you what we're doing. Now with white selected, we're going to grab our, our line tool. But what I like to do is grab a ruler and bring it down to the very bottom of our text. And you'll see why. Because when we grab our line tool, we're going to use that as a guide. So we're just going to come out, oh, say about right here, let go, let's go up at an angle, alright, and then we're going to come down at an angle, pretty far down, alright, and then back up, and then back down to the main grid, and the guide really helps us keep that even and in line, so that's helpful. And then we're just going to run right off the page with the rest of it. So at that point, we can go ahead and get rid of our ruler. And you kind of see we have our beat there. And if you like the text closer over, you can move it however you like it. Something like that, you know. And we're going to go ahead and right click on the text and we're going to rasterize it. And once we rasterize it, we're going to go ahead and hold shift and click the top layer because we want all the shapes and the text layer. And we're going to right click and we're just going to merge those. And now that we've merged them, we're going to go ahead and zoom in just a little bit. All right, and we're going to just um, grab right here, we're going to grab our rectangular marquee tool. And this is just for effect. So if you do, if you know, if you need to try a few times to get it right, don't worry. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna we're just gonna cut out some of these areas like this right here. All right, so let's go ahead and cut out this as well, and we're just we're just cutting it. You know, we just want to make it look as good as we can because like I said it's going to have a techno feel so cut if you like however you like it you know so we're going to go with that for our, our and depending on the font you use um, you may want to cut it in different places you may not want to cut anything out at all it's totally your call alright so now that we have this done let's go ahead and zoom out all right, and we're going to go up. And we're going to need to change the rotation of just the text and the shape. So we're going to go up to Edit. We're going to come down here to Transform, and we're going to rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. And you see when that does that, it throws it kind of up into the sky, which is no problem at all. All right, so now we need to apply a filter. So let's go up to our filters, and we're going to go down to Stylize. Let's go down to wind. Alright. And we're going to choose wind and we're going to choose from the left. Hit OK. Now, since we just did that, if you hit Control F, it will apply it one more time. So let's do that. Alright. So now we're going to go back up to our filters again, just like we did before. Go back down to stylize. And we're going to go to wind, but this time we're going to go from the right. Go ahead and hit OK. And again, Control F. All right. And so now we have a good looking kind of a. Uh, it's, it's actually called an oscilloscope that the doctors use, and you see the, the electrical pulses. And, and that's kind of what we've got going on there. That's what we're looking for. And that's good. So now we want to rotate it back. So we'll go back down to Edit, Transform, Rotate clockwise 90 degrees alright so and you can add less wind if you just want to do it once for each that's fine I'm just going for complete massive effect which will um, 
make it easier all around so now we're gonna do one more thing we've got to go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna colorize the text in the line so let's go up here to layer we're gonna layer style excuse me and then we're gonna go to outer glow now you can use any color you like I have a preference here because I think when I think of the doctor's oscilloscope I think of a green on black and since we've got black in the middle I'm just gonna use 00 DD 0 F gives it a nice green and we're gonna go ahead and change the opacity to about 60 percent the noise will stay at 0 technique will stay at softer spread 0 let's change the size to 6 and let's go ahead and anti-alias set it to anti-alias there alright we're gonna leave all the settings the same alright and now what we need to do is jump down to color overlay alright and you see it's gonna turn everything red but no problem so go ahead and click on color overlay we're gonna go ahead and grab that and we're gonna use that value we used before 0 0 DD 0 F now you see the white is gone and it's all that green that goes across through there so you click OK you look out and by all means you can you know crop this down if you don't need quite so much of it um, and there you go um, it's a really cool effect like I said you don't have to use as much with the wind you know I duplicated it twice on each way you can use different fonts it's just a really cool effect and it gets the job done so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you like what I do um, subscribe click that like button that lets me know that um, you guys do appreciate it uh, you can check me out on Facebook at facebook.com slash psych studios link in the description and you can also follow me on Twitter also at psych underscore studios so guys thanks for joining me for this tutorial and if you have any questions leave them in the comments and I'll be glad to address those or if you have any requests for future tutorials let me know so take care and have a good one fellas